Hi hello welcome to my youtube channel so today we will be seeing what is bet score and its implementation so as you know it's a significant evolution matrix for most of the llm and nlp use cases like summarization so let's dive into our topic so we'll be seeing uh, this video in four subsection so one is introduction to bet score one another one is motivation behind the metric bet score and then bet score architecture and fourth one is implementation details so um, bit score is a metric for evaluating the quality of text generation models such as machine translation or summarization so it utilizes the pre-trained but contextual embeddings for both the generated and reference text and then calculates the cosine similarity between these embeddings so it is an automatic evaluation metric which is used to testing the goodness of text generation system unlike existing popular methods that compute the token level syntactic similarity so bet, bet score like majorly focuses on computing the semantic similarity between tokens of references and hypothesis so the motivation behind bet score is designed to directly improve upon ngram based text generation matrices such as blue or mature by addressing two primary limitation the one is inability to detect the paraphrases second one is failure to capture remote relationship and to penalize the significant changes in the semantic order so with the first one uh, inability to detect the paraphrase for example with the reference text people like western cuisine so ngram based matrices would assign a higher score to people like global flavors instead of consumer prefer imported spices so this leads to the uh, underestimated performance when like semantic correct phrases or deviate from the reference so in bet score the similarity between two sentences is computed as a sum of the cosine similarity between that token embeddings so thereby providing the capability to detect the paraphrases and the second one with the failure with the uh, capturing a re remote relationship for instance a blue score is not like severely affected if the phrases are switched from a because b to b because a so especially when a and b are long process so bet score contextual embeddings are trying to recognize the order and then deal with distant dependence between uh, present in the text so we will be seeing the architecture and the implementation details within the collab notebook in the next session for the high level architecture the bit score metric computation flow involves the following step one is token representation second one is cosine similarity third one is bit score calculation and then optional things are importance weighting weighting sorry baseline rescaling so with token representation the first step in calculating the bit score is to represent both the reference and candidate sentence using contextual embedding and then the quotient similarity so where uh, the pairwise question similarity between each token in the reference sentence and each token in the candidate sentence is calculated and then in bet score calculation each token in the reference sentence is matched to the most similar tokens in the candidate sentence and vice versa to calculate the recall and precision so these are then combined into the f1 score and then another uh, uh, optional thing is importance weighting so this optional step assumes that rare words can be highly indicative of sentence similarity thus idf inverse document frequency is involved into the calculation and then the next one is baseline rescaling the final step which aims to like make the score more human readable so let's get into the demo part so we will be using bet score here so it's one of the library that we can use to compute the precision recall f1 score using bet score okay so it's done once it's done we will be importing the library uh, and the object bet score and we will be using for the language english and we will be importing our two sentence one is reference sentence another one is candidate sentence for the testing purpose we will be uh, using to test both sentence which are same okay and then we'll be computing precision recall and f1 score by calling the score object using um, the candidate and reference parameter and now we have the result here so if you see here all the precision recall f1 scores are, are equal to one so this indicates that every words in the candidate sentence is present in the uh, reference sentence 
so which is expected since the sentences are identical so i have added another example here with different reference and candidate sentence so if you see here the precision recall reference scores are less than 1 so this indicates that not every words in the candidate sentence is present in the reference sentence and the lower precision recall and fn score reflects the fact that the sentences are not perfectly aligned we can also showcase these results uh, in confusion matrix so that's it guys find the link to the collab notebook in the description below so thanks for watching and see you all in our next session thank you bye bye